Once we have our blogs created inside of Yive, what we need to do is then let's create some custom domains. So in your DNS, wherever your DNS is at, you're going to have to make sure that you follow the rules for uh, CNAME with the subdomain for your site. In this case, it's going to be tz2.com. TH7 and TH8 are two of the subdomains that I created inside of Yive Sites. And these are the actual name of those sites. So if we actually come here, scroll all the way down to the bottom. Well, I got to refresh real quick and make sure that they are completed. They are. So I'm going to refresh my blogs here. And then if I refresh, scroll down to the bottom, we should see the TH7 and TH8. If I come over to TH7, now, I'm not going to change anything here in the custom domain. I just want to make sure that you know that we have to have th7.yivesites.com as a CNAME on our DNS records. And that's exactly what I'm showing here. So once you have your DNS done, according to the video that's inside of Yive Sites that teaches you how to do this, how can we update the subdomains inside of Yive Sites automatically or in bulk? So what I'm going to do is I am going to go to our, our group, AutoYive. And this is the link to the actual CSV. So I'm going to download the CSV. I'm going to open it up. And you're going to notice that there are two column headers. One is the current subdomain, and this is the custom subdomain. So TH7 is the current subdomain and TH8 is the other and it's going to be TH7.2vz2.com and this is going to be TH8.2vz2.com. We are going to save this so we have it set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back over to Yive Science. And what I'm going to do is, since I just created these blogs, I need to refresh my blog list. So I'm just going to come over to New Post, click on Change, and click on Refresh. Now I have close to seven or 800 blogs in mind, so it's going to take a moment or two for it to refresh everything. But as you see, it's clocking right along, so it's not too bad. And once this is done, we're going to run, go ahead and do the custom domains. Great, now that that's done, we're going to click on the Auto Yive icon again. We are going to go back, and this time we're going to come down to custom domains. We are going to click on this. We're going to pull up our custom domain CSV, and we are going to click on start. That is all that we need to do. And as you see, it's going to go through and it's going to update those blogs. It is completed. So now if we come back here and we refresh this screen for our blog here, we have requested th7.2easy2.com seven seconds ago to be part of this blog. Well, let's look at th8, see if it says the exact same thing. We'll pull up th8, come down to custom domain, and it does, says the exact same thing. Now all we have to do is wait for DNS to propagate. Now it will take a moment or two, but we can do a manual check now. And it may take a moment or two for for uh, Yive sites to catch up, but I'm just gonna go to TH8. Nope, not quite yet. But as soon as they're done uh, propagating, then it will be good to go. So just give you an FYI, it does take a few moments of time to do. Uh, could take up to 72 hours, just letting you know. So that is how you update the custom domains. I have included the CSV, which you can see right here, current underscore domain, and then new underscore custom underscore domain. That is it. You do not need to put th7.yivesites.com, just the subdomain. We automatically know it's Yive Sites, so it's just whatever the subdomain is and then whatever the new custom domain is. You can do subdomains or you can do directly to the root of the domain. 
totally up to you. But please make sure that you adhere and follow to the video for setting up your DNS information inside of Yive Sites training. So that is it. If you need anything else, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you.